Hello everybody. I'd like to do a video about the Fairness Doctrine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when I first started in radio, when I came out of the military the first time, my first radio job was in 1962, and if uh, you mentioned anything that was political, in fact, uh, the station that I worked for, we had uh, the station manager had recorded a special public service announcement. If you mentioned anything political, you would play that uh, announcement from the station manager saying that he would consider all other views to the views just expressed on the radio station. And that was the fairness doctrine. A radio station had a license not as a right but as a privilege. And when the FCC they could walk in at any time and check your logs to find out if you were uh, offering a public service because basically that's what the broadcast airwaves was considered to be a public service and for those that held radio station license did so if they offered a public service and the amount of money that they would make was secondary there's been a lot of talk that the fair Fairness Doctrine may come back. And I'm going to give you an example. If, if the Fairness Doctrine, and I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know. I don't know if viral videos would fall within the Fairness Doctrine, but I have a suspicion if they bring the Fairness Doctrine back, they'll figure out a way to insert that law into viral videos. And this is what would happen if the Fairness Doctrine came back. I like that. Pretty nice, huh? And to be fair, now I mean, we're in the Fairness Doctrine, so I like that. Pretty nice, huh? That's the Fairness Doctrine. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. See if I can cut this thing off.